Here, take off the label. Sure. It'll come in. Brand new solar systems. Uh, so this has produced about $100 of power. We've had about five times the amount of interest in the last week. And curiosity to match. For us, it's mostly the local power rates changing. The standard offer supply rates were just over six cents per kilowatt hour in 2021. At the start of this year, the Maine Public Utilities Commission approved rate hikes from the companies that generate the electricity. Those rates jumped to more than 11 cents per kilowatt hour. That's when companies like Pine Tree Solar saw a spike in interest. Yeah, the second week of January, once people started to see their bills, um, that's when we definitely saw a noticeable difference. Uh, and then late in January, it was just um, a lot of calls that we weren't expecting. Why? In hopes of saving money. People with solar panels do not have to pay either the delivery or supply fees. Plus, any extra energy your home produces with solar panels gets stored in the grid. So you get that energy back in a credit you can use over the next 12 months. You can't produce your own oil, but you can produce your own power. But solar arrays are not cheap. They can range from twenty to $30,000. The good news, you can get a federal tax credit, 26% of the cost of the system. Some companies say it takes about eight years for the system to pay for itself in savings, but the system can last 30 or 40 years. So you get a really strong long-term return on a solar investment, and you also do a great job reducing your carbon pollution. Some companies encourage using a heat pump to work with your solar system. The state offers rebates for heat pumps. Uh, it's kind of a win-win because you're not paying for those kilowatt hours. We're producing them for you, and that's going straight into the heat pump. So you're getting the benefit of kind of both worlds there. Okay, so before you make any changes to how you get your power, there are three takeaways you should consider. One, all experts agree you should start by checking your home's insulation. If your home is not insulated properly, you're going to end up wasting a lot of money trying to heat or cool it. Number two, estimate your cost up front. Mike Griggs from Pine Tree Solar says you can estimate that by multiplying your yearly power bill by the number 11. And number three, the state is trying to lessen the burden of these higher electric bills. 90,000 homes in Maine will receive a $90 credit on their energy bills. The governor's energy office says people should start seeing those on their CMP and Versant bills this month.